Hello, this is Nick from BIMPure, and today we're answering a question from a member of the BIMPure Gardens community. This is Michael Pilizzi, and he's asking, I have a question regarding a material takeoff schedule. I want to know what the best way of filtering the materials by elevation, as well as the percentage of the material used on that elevation and material takeoff schedule. Does anyone know any tips for figuring this out? Well, I do. So first, there's no way to automate this there's there are some manual steps that you have to accomplish but uh, let's go through it together you can see this simple uh, project where we have a wall a dark brick wall and a red brick wall so the first step that i'm going to do is go to the manage tab and we'll need to create a new project parameters for the walls so going to the project parameters clicking here to add a new parameter i will click w to select the walls category i will select instance the type the data type is going to be text and the parameter name is going to be elevation side. Okay. And then I will select all of the walls and you can see that this one, uh, we have the elevation side parameter that just appeared. And this is, uh, is this the south? Yes, it is. Okay. So this is the south wall, the south elevation side. So I will just type south. Uh, meaning that this one and this one, I'm going to type east. This one and this one are going to be north. And this one is going to be west. And next, the way you name materials need to be really clear in this dark brick wall. Uh, we have created this material that is called dark brick. And for the red brick one, we've created brick material that is called red brick in all caps. So now I'm ready to create my material takeoff schedule. I'm going to go to the view tab in the schedules drop down menu, select material takeoff. And then I will press W and pick the walls category. Then I will bring some of my parameters. The first one is elevation side. Then I will scroll down to find the materials. I will bring material name, I will bring material area. I could also bring material cost if I want to do some cost estimation. Then I will go to the filter tab and I only want to have materials for walls uh, that have an elevation side value. So we don't want to include any interior walls. So in the filter, I will filter by elevation side uh, has a value. So if we didn't enter anything, it won't be included. And secondly, in this case, we only have materials that are bricks. So I can add the material name equals, in this case, I can select contains brick in all caps. You could use a different parameter if you have wood or different kinds of materials, but for now it's gonna work. Then I'm going to go to sorting and grouping and I'm going to sort by elevation side. I will check the header box, then by material name, and I will uncheck itemize every instance. So hopefully that should work. It seems to be the case. Okay, some things are kind of strange or annoying. I already have the elevation side in the header so I can uh, remove the parameter in the, the rows themselves. So I'm going to go to the formatting menu, select elevation side and click on hidden field. And also it would be nice if we have an extra line so the schedule breathes a bit. So I'm going to go inserting grouping and click on blank line, just like this. And I can see there's a field that says varies. That's because we have two walls in the east elevation. Uh, so it, the total is not automatically calculated. That's why we can see varies instead. I'm going to go to the formatting menu, select material area and activate calculate totals for it, just like this. Okay, now it would be nice to have a cost estimation so I can select the cost and set the cost for the dark brick. And this is just random, of course. Let's say the, the red brick is slightly more expensive. And if we want to have the total cost, cost of the brick, uh, I will create a calculated value. So I'm going back to the fields, clicking on calculated parameter. I will select the formula, the material cost multiplied by the material area and then I will call this uh, total price or something. And then if I click OK, I get this warning of inconsistent units. Well, I just have to add divided by one and it's going to work. 
Okay, now I have the total prize. You can see the formatting is very strange. I have lots of digits and there are no units. I'm going to the formatting menu, selecting total price, clicking on field format, and I will select uh, currency instead. The rounding I'm going to set two decimal places. I'm going to use digit groupings and select uh, the dollar as the unit symbol. All right, so this is better, but we still have that varies in the total price again. I will go to formatting, select total price and pick calculate totals in the drop down menu. Okay, so it's almost ready. Last thing I want to do is to add the percentage. So I'm going to the fields parameter and clicking on add calculated parameter. I will select percentage. I will also call the parameter name percentage of material area. That's good. And by instead of grand total, I want percentage for each elevation side. Okay, so if there are different colors, I can know the percentage. So for example, I know in the, the north side, we have 54% of dark brick and 46 of red brick. And yeah, that's it. So if you've enjoyed this video, check out the Bimpure membership, which includes access to our gardens community where you can ask questions and we answer all of them. And if it's a really good question, maybe you will even get a video. We've answered hundreds of questions so far. And you also unlock the entire membership that includes all of our Revit courses, as well as courses with other BIM and AC Tech experts on topics such as ChatGPT, D5 rendering, Open BIM. You also unlock uh, our downloads, the BIMPure plugin, the Pro Template, our doors and windows collection, and get new posts and videos on a weekly basis. So check it out at bimpure.com.